Hypnos, the son of night and darkness, the brother of dreams and nightmares, secluded in his cave by the sea, a silent and empty place to be. We've previously discussed Nyx and some of her children, and today it is another one of those children that we'll be examining, Hypnos, the spirit and personification of sleep. The name Hypnos or Hypnos is taken directly from the Greek word meaning sleep, Ibnos, and as his name would suggest, he was indeed the ancient Greek version of the Sandman. He was also the twin brother of Thanatos, the personification of death, and among his numerous brothers and sisters were the Honoroi, a collection of deities who were responsible for bringing dreams. Now these began as Hypnos' siblings, but many believe that his sons also became part of the Honoroi. Morpheus, the master of dreams. Febitor, whose name originated from the Greek word meaning frightening, was responsible for the creation of nightmares, but in some variations he was instead referred to as Igelos, and he would make dreams seem more realistic. Lastly there was Phantasos, whose name derived from the Greek word meaning fantasy, and he would be responsible for creative and fantastical dreaming. It was believed that Hypnos resided in Erebus, the land of eternal darkness, who in some accounts was even considered to be his father. He made his home in a dark cave, lined in opiate blooms such as the opium poppy and the breadseed poppy. Now there is another variation of this cave, located under the island of Lemnos, where the river of forgetfulness would flow, which ties into the idea that sleep is a time when we can forget our problems. When the night did come, Hypnos would rise into the sky with his mother Nyx and bring sleep to all those below. He would eventually take a wife known as Pasithea, who was the youngest of all of the graces promised to him by the goddess Hera. Pasithea was regarded as the goddess of meditation, relaxation and hallucination, so naturally it makes sense that these two gave birth to children who were heavily associated with dreaming. When Hypnos was depicted as a physical being, he was seen as a young man, with wings on his shoulders or even on his brow, and the idea of these wings covering his eyes in order for him to sleep is quite interesting. He was often depicted carrying around several objects that would aid him send people into a slumber, a horn that contained a sleep inducing opium that would cause sleep when blown, a branch dipped in the river of forgetfulness, occasionally an inverted torch and a poppy stem. There aren't many mentions of Hypnos in Greek mythology, but he does play a small role in Homer's Iliad during the Trojan War. Hera wanted to help the Achaean people and the forces of Troy, seduced her husband Zeus, and had Hypnos place him into a deep slumber. However, Hypnos was not able to keep Zeus asleep for very long, and when he awoke he was furious, pursuing Hypnos endlessly until he fled to his mother's cave. Nyx was eventually able to convince Zeus to forgive her son and forget their conflict. When Hera witnessed her attempts to help the Trojan people were largely in vain, because Heracles had sacked the entire city, she blamed Zeus for his son's actions, and she once again asked Hypnos to place Zeus into a deep slumber. This time Hypnos was quite unsure, as he barely escaped the wrath of Zeus on the previous occasion. She was able to finally convince him by offering him Pasithea, the youngest sister of all of the Graces, whom he always wanted to marry. So once again Hypnos placed Zeus to sleep, this time it was for much longer, and word spread to Poseidon, who helped the Achaean people to victory when Zeus lay sleeping. When Zeus eventually awoke, he heard the news that the Trojan War had been turned in Hera's favour, but he never learnt of what Hera and Hypnos had done. So now that we've got the bulk of the video out of the way, we can touch upon some of the cool little facts and tidbits that I came across. The Roman iteration of Hypnos was known as Somnus, which is where the English word for insomnia actually comes from, with in meaning not, and somnus meaning sleep. The word hypnosis is derived from hypnosis name, hypnos meaning sleep and osis meaning condition, and the same can be said for hypnotic medicine which is known to induce sleep. Hypnos is definitely an interesting deity, who doesn't really seem to receive much attention. Feel free to share any thoughts or ideas you may have on hypnos in the comments below, and if you haven't already done so, please hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.